Okay, this is uh, take two. Just removed the uh, constrictive inlet pipe and I put on a, uh, a bigger pipe that almost goes down to the bottom of the water. So we're going to give this a shot, see what happens. Here we go. I'm watch the RPM now, the sun's not blocking it. Wow, the uh, the flow was that was that good then that it got so it got so high and. Um, the flexible coupling has basically toast because uh, it's not it's not strong enough to, to cope with that amount of torque. So the flexible coupling's toast. Uh, it's actually melted. It was um, smoking. It's burnt a little bit of the case in there. Don't think the damage is actually. Um, too bad. It's hard to tell at the minute, but yeah, the motor's cool. Um, batteries are warm, so definite, um, definite difference. Yeah, it was, it was, I noticed about eight thousand RPM on the on the uh, on the tack. So. Um, yeah, have to take it apart and uh, investigate, see, see how bad it is. Um, but I reckon we just need a custom flexible coupling, which is what I've already prepared for this, because I had machine these flats machined on the uh, on the shaft, so it could have a high torque um, flexible coupling made. And uh, this one's got one flat on this motor, so uh, yeah. I thought I could do a bit of slipping on the last, on the last one. I did, I did tighten these just before the test. So um, this drips the shaft through uh, compression. Basically, it's these pull tight onto the shaft, and uh, just too much torque, too much torque once um, it's flowing that much, that fast. So you can see it's spinning. Uh, all right, so. It's the end of the test. Catch you later.